Okay, today we continue our our lessons, right? On chapter three. Right, this chapter three regarding of internet technology and triple W, right? So uh, today you will learn uh, about internet technology. Okay some of overview of the of the internet and then some the evolutions of internet and then the connections right and then internet service provider and internet service besides that you also will learn uh, triple w right, web, web browser and web address and also a little bit about uh, network basics Okay. All right. This is uh, some, some definition of the internet. Nampak tak slide? Okay. So the internet is a worldwide collection of networks that links millions of business, a government agency, educational institution, and individual. All right. Oh, I didn't check up there. So means that um satu dunia, I means that the world, right connected together, then we can call it as a internet. Okay, all right. So, all right. Network computer, all right. Network of computer networks which is operate worldwide using common set of communication communication protocol means that. After you connected, if you want to request something, I mean that if you want to, you always request uh, uh, information using browser, right? When you search, surf internet, you are requested uh, some information using browser. Okay, so, am I right? Okay, like you Google again, Google and then you search, okay, using browser, right? So, uh, when you are using the operations, uh, when you do that operation, means that you are using uh, some communication protocol. So that communication protocol we call it as a HTTP protocol. All right, HTTP stand for hypertext transfer. Hypertext transfer protocol. Okay, HTTP. Ah, ada soalan? Okay. Ada. Okay. Alright. So, we move uh, to evolution of the internet. Alright. Okay. Internet is actually um, developed on late 1960. Okay. Date of 60. I think 69. Okay. So, actually internet is Focus on the U.S. Army, alright. Okay, focus on the U.S. Army, alright. And designed by ARPA, I means that Advanced Research Projects Agency, alright. And then uh, they develop internet. Focus on U.S. U.S. Development Department of Defense, alright. On that time, they are not called as internet, but they call it as uh, ARPA. ARPANET. ARPANET means that ARPA network. Okay? Alright. Okay, this is the main goal of ARPANET. One is to allow scientists at different physical locations to share information and works together. Alright? And function even if part of the networks were disabled and spread by disaster. Okay, itu kegunaan ARPA. Okay, next is type of communication and internet access. Alright. We have two type of connection. One, we, we call it as a dial up. And another one is broadband internet connection. Right, dial up, I think it's your, your generation. Tak pernah jumpa lagi kot. Tak pernah jumpa lagi kan. Dial up. So, dial up is long time ago right in early i think middle of 90s so uh, you all tak tak ada lagi masa tu belum lagi kan 
Nak masuk dalam perancangan maybe nak tentu. Okay, alright. So ya yeah, tu tile up and broadband. Okay, both of these ah uh, diperkenalkan oleh uh, by TM TMnet. Ah 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 jaring also right. Ah jaring jaring pun dah pupus. Jaring is one one five one one. Okay, alright. So inside dial up connection, they have they are they can can be categorized into two. One is dial up pure dial up, and another one is ISDN, right? So there is the difference between uh, pure dial up and ISDN. Okay, so look at on the pure dial up, right? This is um. The what the cheapest one, okay. PC have to what to dial via phone line to connect internet. It means that macam you nak buat call orang lah kan. So dia gunakan cara call internet. Ah, dulu dulu macam tu. Okay. Ah, alright. So this is a conventional dial up, right? So slower but cheaper. Of course cheaper right. But on that time. Yeah, on the 1990s, it's not cheaper. Okay, now maybe you say it's cheaper, but on that time, semua orang susah mana ada cheaper kan? Nah, ada internet pun ada orang-orang tertentu je. Alright, so okay, so the ties up phone line. Alright, ties up phone line means that when you when you call to the internet, other people cannot call you back. It means that. Uh, when other people want to call you, you got engaged tone. Macam you sekarang ni macam sekarang kan you call orang kan, so orang lain tak boleh masuk call kan betul tak? Ah, uh, tak ah, uh, mak so sama lah macam dialog ni. Bila you call internet, bila you buat calling internet, so orang lain tak boleh call you. Sorry sir. Ah, uh. boleh yep. record tak sir? Hah? Boleh tolong record tak? Ah, uh, dah record, dah record. Oh dah. Nah, uh. thank you sir. Okay. Okay, alright. So relatively secure from hackers. Alright, kenapa dia cakap secure from hackers? So on that times, um, dia punya dia taklah berapa cipu, okay? Macam sekarang ni kan, uh, data transfer dia tak dikira macam dulu dulu. Uh, siapa pakai dial up ni? Dia punya bill dia berdasarkan data transfer. Berapa banyak yang you guna data tu? Uh, lagi banyak you guna data, lagi banyak bill. Alright. So orang dulu, dulu dia tak selalu hook up. Maknanya dia, dia tak selalu sentiasa online. Ada keperluan baru online. So bila ada keperluan baru online, maknanya dia dia tak sentiasa dia tak sentiasa online means that dia secure from hackers. Ha. Alright. So kalau dia selalu online, dia akan jadi uh, ni lah akan open to hackers. Alright. Sebab dia tak selalu online, dia bila masa tertentu dia online, so dia secure from Right, example provider of dial up is TMNet and jaring. Tadi you cakap dia. Okay, alright, okay next advantage and disadvantage. Alright, in term of security, is more secure. Alright, and then more secure because of. So what is lebih secure? Ah, dia tak sentiasa. Online. Okay, so and then include in expensive hardware. Okay, and then easy to set up and use means that plug just plug and play. Okay, and then widespread availability. Right, the disadvantage is slow connection speed. Right, maximum fifty six kilobyte per second. Right, itu sangat slow lah kan, betul tak? Okay, kalau you sekarang ni kalau pakai fifty six kilobyte per second mungkin dah kena baling lah. Kan? Ah, nak tunggu dia punya lama kan Ok alright then Inconvenience And also telephone line will be tied up while Accessing the internet Ok next Is ISDN Ok Alright ISDN ni adalah uh, Innovation Of the dial up Ok tadi dia so dia cuba uh, Dia try to cater problem when other people when you when you access the internet other people cannot call you right 
and then this ISDN uh, innovates that they try to separate between data and voice. Okay, means that when you access the internet, other people also can call you. Uh, okay, alright, but still in that app connection. Okay, so also transfer data using uh, telephone lines and then typically use two phone lines. Okay, to transfer data. Right, so I, they're uh, faster but expensive, so they are, they are larger scale. Right, then doesn't type up for nine. Ah, uh, two they buat innovate scale. Okay, mana dia dia boleh, dia boleh buat dua, uh, dua perkara lah dalam sah masa yang sama. Okay, access the internet dengan phone call. Right, and then um, okay, there is one use uh, by individual ataupun business organisation. Alright. Ada soalan tak dengan dat up? Any question? Yeah. Tak ada? No. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, next we go for broadband internet connection or direct connection. Right? Direct connection means that always on connection. Right, many home and small business user connect to the internet via high speed 200 kilobyte per second broadband internet user service. Ni dulu dulu lah selepas dial up so dia orang ada uh, broadband. Okay dulu dulu ada satu broadband yang glamour dipanggil ADSL broadband. Okay selepas dial up dia ada tu. Alright so computer are continu continually connected to the internet and then use either in home and office. Alright so because of uh, it's always connected then it's open to to get the to get hacks from the hackers okay alright so masa penggunaan broadband ni dia dah tak kira dah um, maybe that in this time dia tak dia dah tak kira dah uh, charge berdasarkan data mungkin dia charge berdasarkan uh, berapa lama penggunaan uh, macam yang first dial up dia charge berdasarkan data transfer berapa kilobyte berapa kilobyte dia transfer kan Ah, tu yang lagi mahal lah sebenarnya Ok Dia tak semudah Mungkin yang murah tu adalah dia punya dari segi uh, Device Device maybe uh, Cheaper right? But the transfer rate Charge Is Expensive Ok macam you punya phone lah Kalau you pergi dekat pendalaman kan Yang tak ada line kan Yang tak ada line 3G kan You guna GPRS kan uh, GPRS tu cuba you guna internet Tengok macam mana tak Macam mana dia tolak you punya uh, Duit dalam dalam apa? Uh, dalam account So It's expensive Sebab dia kira by By transfer bit Okay Alright So this is um, The difference between Dial up and uh, Broadband direct connections Alright of course uh, Dial up is the slow speed And then um, Always connection For the broadband And then uh, Not tie up Tile up uh, when you use dial up, and then uh, secure more secure when you use uh, when we use dial up because uh, you are not always uh, connected. Okay, all right. Next is the type of direct direct connection, all right? So this is a several type of direct connection. We have DSL, all right? DSL stand for digital. Subscriber line, okay. Digital subscriber line, alright. Then we have cable modem. Then we have fixed wireless. We have Wi-Fi, satellite, internet service, cellular radio networks, and fiber to premise. Alright. So we move to DSL. Alright. Well, most of the internet uh, must must flow must follow to the through the phone phone line. Okay, tak ada phone line, dia tak boleh lah. Kecuali dia boleh connect dengan satellite. Okay, so, tapi selain dari satellite, semua menggunakan phone. Phone line. Okay. Alright. Uh, for the DSL, alright, the the distance between switching station with your home, right, must be less than 3 mile. If you use uh, broadband, then mesti kurang daripada 3 batu. Kalau lebih daripada tu, dia tak ada, dia tak support. Mungkin support, mungkin dia akan dapat sikit lah dia punya 
Apa tu? Ha, dia tak perform lah dia punya dia punya bandwidth tu. Okay? Alright. So transfer over phone line does not tie up on ah uh, yalah of course lah right sebab dia dah ada teknologi tu right dia nak dia tak tak out lah mana dia orang bila dia tengah access access internet so orang lain pun boleh call juga so dia dah separate between data and uh, voice okey alright and then fast direct internet access via telephone line okey and then ADSL is a ah uh, okey as i said ADSL is a more popular type of DSL ADSS means that asymmetric data such skyline. Okay, so example who provide the SDSL is Streamix without Wi-Fi. So this is first version of Streamix. Okay, sebelum ni Streamix sekarang ni kan? Sekarang ada orang guna Streamix lagi? Ada kan? Ada tak? Semua dah unify kan? Okay, yeah. so ni the first first version of uh, Streamix. Sebab tu dia kata 200, 200 kilobyte per second je Dulu 200, 200 kilobyte per second tu dah kira laju lah Sekarang ni oh, Tak tahulah Sekarang ni di, dekat polis ada apa apa? 10 dapat tak? 10 megabyte 14 Haa ok dekat polis 14 kan Ni girls ni tahu tak macam mana nak check? Ha? Okay you boleh check gunakan tu Tool um, uh, Website tool Nama dia speedtest.net uh, Dia kata tu korang boleh check lah Berapa kelajuan internet Alright next is Cable internet service Alright Cable Mostly widely used for home broadband. Yeah, this is actually uh, ah yeah, dekat dekat lab pun kadang, kadang kita gunakan cable connection, right? Of course, when you use cable is uh, high speed internet access. Okay, sebab dia tak ada obstacle. Okay, sebab dia direct one to one jadi tu, kan? Uh, kalau you guna wifi, dia, dia ada limitation sikit Alright, dia ada limitation Okay, dia tak sampai Maybe sekarang ni Wi-Fi ni so maybe akan up sampai 100 meg Yang terbaru lah Kalau terbaru dia up 100 meg Kalau lama dia tak sampai 100 meg So, bila dah tu Dia akan bagi balik beberapa orang yang pakai ni So, dia seorang dapat sikit lah ha, Kalau you pakai kabel Kalau kabel tu boleh support sampai 100 meg You punya komputer pun 100 meg Orang sebelah pun dapat 100 meg Dia dia tak dia tak separate bagi-bagi pintu Dia umpama dia one to one Okay, so that's why cable connection is high speed internet access. Okay, dulu dulu cable connection ni hanya digunakan untuk TV je. Ah, of course untuk TV. Alright, next is fixed wireless, Wi-Fi wireless using transmission tower rather than satellite. Okay, it's not uh, but it's limited area and expected to use WiMAX. Okay, it's provide high speed connection using this shape antenna to communicate via radio signal. Okay, selain for the Wi-Fi kita ada WiMAX. Okay, both of that um, dia ada lain lain protocol. Okay, WiMAX ni dia dia boleh distance dia lagi jauh daripada Wi-Fi. Ah, okay, distance jauh and then dia boleh um, macam you pasang sini orang sebelah pun boleh dapat uh, coverage tu. Uh, macam wifi tak boleh sebab wifi dia kalau ada ada obstacle dinding ni so dia mati dah uh, okay. okay sama lah macam dekat college kan kalau certain distance after that dia tak akan dapat kan uh, tak akan dapat wifi uh, so so lah itulah dia limitation dia ok tapi WiMAX ni tak uh, tak berapa glamour lah dia cuma sekejap je orang oh, implement alright masa tu Uh, masa dia try to implement, dia try to innovation, innovate with the voice over IP Ok, maknanya dia orang dah start menggunakan telefon uh, Telefon menggunakan talian internet Ok, dulu-dulu, dulu-dulu uh, sebelum ada whatsapp call ni Ok, orang orang, akan, orang glamour dengan skype call Kan, uh, call guna skype Ah, Skype, okay. So, 
uh, lama kelamaan Skype pun dah buat uh, video call guna Skype okay, and then uh, barulah masuk kepada uh, WhatsApp ke apa WeChat apa semua ni WeChat semua kan dah enable untuk uh, internet call okey so internet internet call ni dulu-dulu the first first kali implement dia mahal tapi sebenarnya mahal tu diciptakan oleh company tu lah sebenarnya dia free je sebab dia sekali dengan kita access internet tu ha. means that it's cheaper than kita call biasa ha. call internet tu lagi cheap, lagi murah daripada call biasa ok alright Okay, next is Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi actually stand for wireless fidelity. Okay, bukan wi eh. Okay, eh? Alright, so, alright, so the data is transmit through radio wave. Okay, public wireless networks and then uh, semua orang dekat public wireless network also pakai Wi-Fi. Alright, so that Wi-Fi either, either free or free or pay ah uh, you need to pay okay okay so wifi is short range but wimax maybe is an option lah. so as i said lah wifi ni range dia limited so untuk kereta limited tu so kita guna wimax okay tapi nowadays wimax tu dah tak ada lah sebab dah ada yang baru dah ada teknologi baru okay provide uh, high speed internet connection to, comp to compatible or proper equipment wireless Computer and device, right? So, example is to stream it with Wi-Fi. All right. So, ni semua orang tahu lah kan? Semua orang guna Wi-Fi kan? Uh, dekat rumah tu ya. Okay, oh. next is Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, hotspots are place that provide a user with free or paid internet service. Example in airport, cafe, hostel, hotel, office, and other public buildings. Right, macam dekat sini public pub, tempat public apa? Ni ada wifi. Hotspot. KKNC. Ha? KKNC. Mana? Masjid. KKNC. Okay Alright, lagi lagi. Kedai mama kan. Kedai mama pun ada sekarang ni kan. Kedai mama pun dah maju. Dobi, Dobi, Dobi. Ha? Ah, Dobi ya. Yes. Betul, 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 Dobi. Okay Dobi and then uh, McDonald. Uh, semua lah. Tapi uh, yang paling best ni kawan-kawan share wifi tu lah. Hotspot. Uh, tu paling best. Ya. Yeah, Betul-betul. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Alright. Next we go for satellite internet service. Okay. So why we use inter satellite internet service? Sebab kita nak cater problem broadband yang tak boleh sampai ke rural area. Alright. So kalau kita nak pasang broadband uh, di rural area tu akan costly lah Terutamanya dekat dalam hutan ke, ke hutan dekat bukit-bukit kan So they cost So that's why kita uh, That's why kita um, Minta menggunakan uh, Satellite Okay Alright this slower but And more expensive than cable or DSL right, Available in many area Ada broadband option or not Okay, it's provide high speed internet connection via satellite and satellite disk communication with a satellite modem. Okay, dia tetap juga kena ada modem. Alright. <coughs> Macam dekat Malaysia pada tahun um, uh, late 90s, late 90s. Okay, tahun 99, tahun 2000 lah lebih kurang. Okay. Tahun 2000, um, saya pernah jumpa satu kawasan yang guna satellite Uh, internet service ni Ya yeah, dekat uh, Tasik Pinyi Tasik Pinyi Tasik Pinyi mana? Dekat Tengganu 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 Ah uh, Tasik Pinyi Dekat Tengganu Tasik Pinyi tu Dalam Tasik Pinyi tu Dulu ada penempatan tau Dalam Sebelah dalam So sebelah dalam tu Dia orang tak ada Tak ada access kepada Telefon line semua So dia orang guna Satellite uh, Even telefon line pun Public phone pun Dia orang guna satellite Macam mana? Kita nak follow ha. So dia orang punya elektrik pun terhad Sampai pukul apa je Lepas tu tak ada elektrik Lepas tu sambung balik besoknya Sebab dia orang pakai generator tu kan Alright, okay 
Sebab tasik kini tu kalau he, kalau bawa handphone pun handphone tak boleh fungsi. Tak ada lain, tak ada lain. Ha. Tak tahulah kalau sekarang dia dah ada lah. Dulu tak ada. Semua so, bergantung pada telefon yang ada satellite tu. Okay, this is how the way the satellite internet service works. Alright. Connection with the uh, satellite dish and must be translate using the modem, satellite modem. Alright, next is fiber to premise. Okay, also known as broadband over fiber. Okay, deliver over fiber optic cabling and then available in limited area, fast but expensive, use fiber optic cable. Okay, and provide high speed internet access, of course. Okay, this is uh, yang korang pakai sekarang lah, Unify lah. Okay, this is Unify, right? They use a uh, cable, fiber optic. Fiber optic ni means that dalam kabel tu dah tak ada wire lah. Okay, kabel tu hanya ada uh, macam crystal dalam dia. So, trau, uh, apa tu? Transmission yang untuk tu, dia tak gunakan wire, dia cuma gunakan cahaya. Uh, dia guna cahaya. Sesuatu so, dalam tu dia macam kristal so dia dia cahaya tu dia bunyi dia pindah pindah pindah. Ah so dia lagi cepatlah. So sebab tu dia lebih mahal. Ah. Okey. So um, macam Sabah Sarawak pun dia orang dapatkan dari sini lah kabel tu bawah laut. Sikit je. Alright, then next is cellular radio network. Alright, cellular net radio network ni macam kita punya phone ni lah. Ah connection phone ni kita guna sebagai cellular Radio, it works. Alright. Access via mobile phone and then offer high speed internet connection to device with built-in compatibility technology. Computer with wireless modem. Alright. So, example provider is Cellcom, Access and DG. How about yang lain-lain tu? Kita ada what? What else? Kita ada U-Mobile, kita ada apa? Ah, XOX lah. You do. Ah, you do lah. So, adakah dia uh, provider of the uh, cellular radio networks internet connection? Ha? Huh? No? Betul lah. Dia pun provider juga. Tapi sebenarnya dia Sebenarnya yang macam you mobile semua tu dia orang share dengan ah uh, the main ni lah yang tiga main ni. Ha uh, okey. Baik macam tu macam you mobile kan. You mobile dia share dengan ah uh, Maxis. Ha. Uh, ah uh, dia share. So maknanya dia dekat mana line Maxis ada dekat situ dia pun ada. Alright, next is Oh, okay, habis. Sampai selulu je. Okay, any question for internet connection? No? no. Okay, kalau no, no saya it. kalau no saya ada soalan. I have question, if no. Okay, alright. Why every connection need modem? Modem. Ah, yeah, why, 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 why? Kenapa dia nak kena internet kena ada modem? Modem tu macam receiver dia. Receiver apa? Ya, tak kita fahamlah receiver tu, tapi kenapa perlu modem? Kenapa kita perlukan modem tu? Kenapa kita tak direct je dengan yang tadi macam ADSL kita direct je. Telefon masuk ADSL terus. Tak boleh. Kenapa kita perlu modem? Boleh macam lagi banyak connection. Okey lagi. At, macam satellite kan, satellite ada modem satellite uh, Dial up dia ada modem dial up uh, Kenapa? Macam you punya Unify lah, Unify pun ada modem juga Tapi buat you punya Unify punya modem dia dah built in sekali dengan wifi punya ni kan, AP kan uh, Tapi sebenarnya dia ada modem juga, kenapa? Kenapa ada modem? Sebab Korang daripada ni kan? Sain fizikal kan? Ya. Ha, mesti tahu punya. Betul. Ha. 
Sebab apa? Tak, itu wifi, itu wifi. Itu kita boleh gunakan hub. Supaya coverage dia lagi besar. Supaya coverage lagi besar. Okey, lagi. Okey, sebab dia sebab komputer kita adalah hanya boleh terima data dalam bentuk <laughs> di digital. Okey, kalau phone line tu dalam bentuk lawan dia apa? Lawan digital apa? Analog. Okey, phone line analog. Dia nak berkomunikasi dengan digital. So dia kena ada trans Transcriber <laughs> Yang tolong transcribe Okay yang tolong translate okay, semua itu. tu Okay kalau tak dia jadi macam ayam itik cakap kan eh. Tengok semua tak, dia ni tak faham ni pun tak faham kan eh. So dia perlukan translator So that's why modem tu adalah yang akan translate kan Bukan translate means that dia akan change uh, From analog to digital ataupun from digital to analog Itu tugas modem Okay Alright. Okay, next internet service provider. So here is the definition of access provider and internet service provider. Right? Access provider means that a business that provide individual or organization access to the internet for free or for fee mana dia kena sama ada kena bayar ataupun kena yang free right and then ISP is company that provide access to the internet and relate, other related service such as website building and virtual hosting so mana dia access provider ni dia hanya uh, dia hanya apa provide access kepada internet untuk ISP ni dia, dia lebih lagi alright mana dia dia selain pada provide access internet dia provide ada servis. Alright. Ada related servis lah. Uh, website building, virtual hosting. Macam-macam lagi lah. Okay. So itu beza dia antara access provider dengan internet. Service provider. Alright. This is responsible of ISP. One which provide and maintain the all connection of the internet. And support hardware. And hardware needed to serve, to service that connection. And protect their website and network from external threats such as virus, hackers, attacks, and other illegal activities. Alright, ISP also provide 24 hours customer service and technical support. Ada soalan tak? ISP. Ada? Okay, contoh-contoh ISP adalah contoh ISP kat Malaysia ni. Time.com Ha? Time.com Lagi? Okay. Maxis, Maxis Ha, ah, Maxis, TM DG DG Ha, ah, Selcom <laughs> Okay Alright, so beside of ISP Kita ada juga We also have OSP and WIS Okay, OSP ni ialah uh, online organizations that provide you service, uh, online service. Okay, such as Google. Okay, uh, dekat sini contoh dia AOL, MSN dan sebagainya. AOL ni ada lagi, korang pakai ni? Tak ada dah kan? On, America Online lah, tak ada kan? Ni lama gila ni. Dah, dah masuk museum kot. Alright, so next is Sekejap, ada orang call Okay, next is um, WISP Alright, wireless uh, This is provide wireless internet To a computer 
Alright, ni macam dekat, macam dekat ni lah hotspot ni lah Okay, require by this model, that's all Alright, this is an example of online service provider as I said, right, Google uh, Just now Google, uh, the service that provide is uh, G, uh, email uh, Beside of email, dia ada lagi apa? Google Drive dan sebagainya lah, banyak lah service yang dia provide Sebab tu dia dikenali sebagai online service provider Alright, so the selain benda tu kita ada Yahoo Ah uh, Yahoo so Yahoo pun ada uh, buat service email service email kan. Selain beri email Yahoo dia buat apa? Email search engine lagi. Tak ada kod dah, dah tak ramai orang guna Yahoo ni. Oh ah uh. Google Google. Ah uh, Google yang orang guna Google je kan sekarang. Okay then next is MSN. Uh, dia provide uh, hotmail email Hotmail pun orang, orang tak pakai dah ni Kan? Kenapa hotmail ni dah semakin pupus? Why? Sebab tak banyak penggunaan Sebab tak banyak penggunaan Banyak penggunaan email sama je Tak famous, tak famous Tak famous? Lambat Eh, kadang bagi dah borang tu. Borang tu memang dia dah sign kan. Borang tu je bukti dia. Okay. Alright, MSN sebab sebab apa kena dia orang tak pakai hotmail lagi? Sebab um, limitation of the storage offered. Okay. Hotmail dia, dia punya storage dia sikit je. Alright. Sama macam Yahoo, dia ada limitation. So, Google sebabkan dia storage lagi besar. So, dia lagi bertambah glamour lah. Okay, next is example. Ah, uh, ini saya cakap dia example of ISP in Malaysia. So we have TMNet, TimeNet, Macy, Celcom. Mana DG? What happened to DG? DG dan kaya yang terluas di Malaysia. Ah? Siapa tahu? Kenapa? Kenapa tak ada DG kat sini? Betul, tak cukup space. Correct. Okay. Kan, iklan tu kan? Apa? Yang orang kuning tu kan? Ha, sebab dia tak cukup space sebab tu dia tak ada sini. Okay. Alright, DG sebenarnya uh, company luar negara. Bukan company Malaysia punya. Okay. Uh, Wallah alam, tapi dia luar negara punya. Dia bukannya Malaysia. Alright, next is type of internet service. Right, this is as I said, online apa? Online service provider. Alright, email. Okay, besides that, mailing list, instant messaging, chat, voice over IP. Okay, news group, message board, file transfer, protocol. Okay, so alright, this is electronic email or email. This semua orang tahu lah kan? Semua orang guna. Uh, email, right? Email boleh ada text, boleh ada audio, video, boleh ada file, boleh ada uh, picture, uh, dan sebagainya. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, of course, right? When you want to send email, you need to you need to know the email address, right? So your the email, so that's email address. It consists of two, um, two. I mean, that you can categorize into two. One is username, another one is a domain. Okay, all right. Username must be Unix. Unix here means that what? Unix also what? Huh? Yes. Okay. Mana dia kalau orang dah guna, orang lain tak boleh guna nama tu. Right? Yes, Unix. Okay, alright. Okay, next is mailing list. Okay, mailing list macam contoh dia macam uh, tu apa? 
uh, kalau ikut usim tu info at usim tu kan so when when somebody send email to that uh, send, send the email to that email address so that email address will distribute to the list that subscribe to the uh, mailing list itu yang maksud dia ok macam korang lah kan korang um, korang subscribe uh, news untuk Pizza Hut kan so setiap kali Pizza Hut ada apa ada promotion dia akan hantar email so Pizza Hut ada satu mailing list yang uh, list email orang yang subscribe kat dia tu so bila satu promotion dia akan hantar dekat satu email so email tu akan distribute kepada semua yang ada dalam list tu itu makna dia mailing Okay, next is ah uh, this is how the way you want to add or to remove. Okay, uh, if you want to add, you subscribe lah. If not, unsubscribe the mailing list. Okay, itu lagi baik daripada ah uh, kawan-kawan tag kita dekat media sosial kan. <laughs> yeah, kita secara tak sekurangnya tiada tiba dapat kan. Uh, so if you need ni, you sekurangnya kalau nak subscribe tak nak sudah. Alright. Okay, mailing list uh, is a one of the best way to reach target audience with each person having signed up specifically to receive information about product or service. Itu lah, kan? Jangan buat target, jangan buat target audience tu yang macam ikut suka kita. Jangan tak nak terima iklan, tag tag iklan. Kan? Alright. Okay. Okay. Next we have instant messaging. Okay. Uh, long time ago kita ada uh, Yahoo Messenger Okay, Mr. Messaging is actually is a real-time internet communication service that notify you when one or more people are online and allow you to exchange message file or join a favorite chat room with them Alright, dia lebih kurang macam chatting lah, chatting room kan What's up, what's up? Ah, ah dia, dia what's up ni, what's up ni dia one, one to one Okay, ah dia macam what's up group lah Ah, kan? Ah, satu group. Okay. You ada, dia macam, dia create satu room. Dalam group tu dah satu room lah, kan? So, you boleh uh, bercakap kepada semua orang ataupun you boleh hantar uh, personal kepada personal. Okay? Alright. So, next is chat. So, chat ni pun sama juga macam instant messenger. Alright? Benda sama. Okay, dia ada chat room Okay, dia ada apa lagi Yeah, of, of course it's a real time Conversation Yang tak real time dia adalah Apa? Ah, kalau email dia, dia tak real time lah kan Okay, kalau chatting ni, dia real time Okay, this is example of the chat uh, Chat application Right, we have WhatsApp, WhatsApp Okay, line ni apa? Ah, uh, Facebook Messenger, SMS, WeChat. WeChat. Hah? Bukan ni ini vibe. Ni vibe, ni vibe kan? Dulu dulu ada dulu ni. Line. Bukan ah uh, line and then bawah level line tu vibe rasanya. Okay, and then we have Twitter and Telegram. Betul tak? Vibe. Cuba search sekejap. V-I-B-E-S ke? Eh. V-I-B-E. Vibe. Betul tak? Vibe at. Ha? Adalah vibe app ni. Ha ni. Image dia. Tengok image dia. Oh image dia dah lain. Dulu image dia tu. Vibe. Ah, lama punya zaman bila dah Okay Alright Tak cakap dengan dia Benda tu dah, dah berlaku dah Kalau dah berlaku macam mana nak uh, Ambil ni takkan nak pergi Nak pergi sign minta sign dorang yang jauh-jauh tu Nanti lah benda hari Mengok
Okay, next is voice over IP. Okay, technology that allow you allow user to speak to others user use over the internet. Uh, either using uh, either using your desktop or mobile computer or mobile device, also known as internet telephony. Uh -uh. Okay, this is how do we voice over IP work. Okay. Ah. Ini selalunya guna Skype lah Yang saya cakap Skype Okay next is news group Right news group is an online area In which user have written a discussion about particular subject Okay sekarang ni pun orang tak guna dah news group ni Dulu-dulu orang guna lah news group Sekarang dah tak guna dah Sekarang ni semua orang nak ada dekat Facebook je kan Facebook ke Twitter kan so-so Penggunaan news group, news group ni semakin kurang. Okay, next is message board. Okay, message board pun sama juga macam news group. Dah semakin dah semakin uh, pupus. Alright, message board ni macam uh, ni lah macam korang kan, macam sekolah dulu. Um, Tak tahu lah sekarang ada ke tak Korang selalu guna tulis-tulis message dekat apa tu Sticky note oh. Sticky note dan tampal kan uh, So dia sama lah konsep dia Tapi secara elektronik uh. Okay Alright Okay Next is file transfer protocol Okay tadi kita ada HTTP kan HTTP tu untuk apa Untuk kita access Haa uh, and information dalam 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 internet guna web browser tapi FTP ni kegunaan dia adalah pro, protokol yang digunakan untuk transfer when you want to transfer data from your computer to internet or from internet to your computer right they use the, this protocol FTP okay right? FTP means fast file transfer protocol okay if you want to use this FTP, okay, you need to use uh, third-party application. Okay, so example of third-party application, you can see that here. Uh, FileZilla, Smart FTP, WSTP, banyak lagi lah, Win FTP dan sebagainya. Alright, kalau you guna uh, third-party transfer ni, you boleh nampak uh, macam katakanlah you nak connect kepada server, you boleh nampak you the server punya apa, Apa yang ada dalam story server, you boleh nampak sekarang ni Okay, this is contoh lah macam ni kan uh, Mungkin sebelah kiri, sebelah kiri ni adalah You punya komputer, apa yang ada dalam komputer Yang sebelah kanan ni mungkin apa yang ada di dalam server Okay, kalau you guna third party software ni You boleh transfer Daripada sini ke sini, sini ke sini dengan drag Drag and drop uh, Drag and drop kan? Okay Kalau selain benda tu, you boleh juga guna macam Google Drive kan Google Drive dia gunakan konsep uh, search, upload, search, location and then upload kan Yang tu kan, yang ni tak, yang ni drop, drop and drop Okay Okay, next is Triple W. Okay, habis habis of the internet service. Any question on internet service? No question. Okay, if no question, then we take five. Okay. All right. Take five. Okay, all right. Um, next is web browser. Okay, I'm sure that you you already know that what is a web browser about, right? So you always use web browser, right, to search uh, information, right, to access your email, uh, and also to yeah upload 
document into the internet. Okay, next is web World Wide Web or sometimes we call it as web, right? So this web World Wide Web is a service of the internet, right? So it emerged in in early 90, 90s, right? So means that from 1960 until 1990s, before that, ada tak World Wide Web ni? Ha? Tak ada? Tahun 80-an ada tak? In 80s ke, in 70s ke, ada tak World Wide Web? Huh? Tak ada ah, Maybe ada Maybe nama lain Alright So in early 1990s So dia baru memperkenalkan World Wide Web Okay World Wide Web actually consists of Worldwide collection of electronic document Called Web page then web page is a collection of related and eh, not web page. website is a collection of related web page in while web server is a computer that deliver requested web page to your computer okay so lastly home page is the first page of the website so we can conclude is uh, a collection of electronic document we call it as a web page and collection of web page we call it as a website and the server that deliver requested web page to your computer we call it as a web server and the first page on the website we call it as a home, home page. Okay, tapi uh, orang-orang IT dia tak panggil uh, home page. Dia akan panggil uh, index. Index uh, index page. Okay, alright. Okay, so web page, as I said, is a collection of the online document right so online document includes text okay graphic audio video animation and it also, it also has it also has built-in connection to other document graphic web page or website okay mana dia dalam uh, dalam web page juga ada ada link kepada document lain so uh, web page they have to, there are two type of web page one is dynamic and another one is static static ni macam mana Kenapa, macam mana kita nak kenal static ni ok static ni macam um, satu page yang plain dia terdiri banyak sangat teks dengan grafik sikit je so dia tak banyak function dia cuma ada grafik dengan text so web page yang tak ada function apa-apa tak ada main menu lah tak ada semua tu dia cuma plain macam tu maknanya dia, dia adalah static ok kalau dia ada main menu lah kadang-kadang ada something apa animation yang bergerak-gerak lah whatever semua kan ha, itu kita panggilkan sebagai die ok Right, this is an example of static web page. Okay. And this is an example of the dynamic web page. Okay, there's a column. There's a menu. That's what I mean. Alright. Okay, next is uh, web browser. Okay, web browser is application software that allow user to access and to view web page. Example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Google Chrome. Sebenarnya ada banyak lagi. Okay, tapi semuanya dah fokus. Macam uh, 
next sikit communicate next sikit next sikit communicator ha Okay, this is the icon of the web browser. So, kita ada Internet Explorer, The World, Opera, Safari, Mozilla, Netscape. Ah, ni Netscape saya cakap tu. Netscape Communicator dan yang dah pupus ni. And then Tencent Travel, Maxstone and Chrome. Okay. So, penggunaan web browser untuk apa? Untuk? Untuk access web page. Okay, next we have Web 2.0. Okay, Web 2.0 is refer to website that provide means that you means for user to share personal information such as SNS website. Okay, SNS website. Apakah contoh SNS website? SNS tahu tak apa? SNS, social networking site. Okay, social networking site. Example. 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 Apa dong? Apa dia? Contoh. Social networking site. Alah, Akbar. Ah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Itu semua social networking site lah. Ah. Alright. Alright, so web 2.0 allow user to modify the website content. Okay. Such as blog. Alright, so uh, they allow us right, to modify the content. Okay, macam kita nak tukar background warna apa, lain, warna lain boleh. Okay, so kita nak tambah widget. Lepas tu widget ni sih korang tak tahu kan. Widget apa widget? Tak tahu. Okay, dia ada widget ni macam bukan pernah tak tengok satu website kan dia ada macam dekat sini ada information yang tengah scroll lah apalah nak ingat tu kan. Dia macam ada portion portion portion. Okay. Ah, yang portion portion tu sebagai kita bagi sebagai widget. Okay. Okay, next is um, ah, uh, this is the web 2.0 versus web 1.0. So 2.0, okay, 2.0 means that user can interact with the site and add information, right? So you can you can comment, you can share, you can download, or you can create almost every content with others. Itu adalah kelebihan, advantage of web 2.0. Zero. Contoh dia adalah SN SNS Alright, so web 1.0 Is previous version Okay Information was only written by Website auto Mana dia orang lain tak boleh nak Modify Tak boleh nak Comment, tak boleh nak Download, tak boleh nak share Okay Alright, next is web address. Okay, of course, when you want to access the web page, you need you need to know the the address. Okay, even if you want to use a Google search, so you need to know the Google address. So Google address, we, the address that we put on the top of the web browser, we call it as a U R. Huh? U R apa? URL. URL stand for? <laughs> Uniform Resource Locator. Okay. Ha ah, ni. Nampak ni. So every address is unique. Okay. Every address for uh, web page adalah unique. Unique maksud apa? Tak boleh sama dengan Dengan online Okay, this is example of the URL So, you can cut into pieces First First one From the left 
first part is the protocol and then after protocol is domain name and then path and then web page name okay path ni actually sebenarnya, sebenarnya apa path ni tahu tahu bukan apa path ni sebenarnya siapa tahu Okay, path ni sebenarnya Okay, dalam server tu Macam you punya laptop kan eh, You punya laptop Okay, bila you buat satu dokumen tu You akan simpan kat dalam folder, betul tak? So, folder tu adalah path Path untuk dia sampai ke dokumen tu Macam ni Path uh, folder tu eh, Macam ni, maknanya dia uh, Dokumen uh, what, apa ni? Wildlifeviewing.html ni Dia simpan dalam folder Plenty your Visit So so folder planning your visit ni Di dalam folder GRSM So that is the path Maksudnya dia um, Path Maksudnya dia apa Cara dia nak sampai ke uh, File tu File while Wildlife viewing .html. .html Right So HTM ni maksud apa HTM is stand for what Hypertext Hypertext apa? Hari-hari guna HTML, HTML. Hypertext markup language. Okay. All right. Okay, next is um, classification of network. Okay, so dekat sini kita kita boleh kita boleh kategorikan into three. One is local area network. Second one is metropolitan area networks, and last one is wide area network. So local area network is uh, lowest in distance and complexity. Okay, meanwhile, man is medium distant and complexity and when is longest distant and complexity. So, uh, land ni sebenarnya satu tempat yang kecil dan limited. Okay, contoh dia macam kita dalam lab ni. So, walaupun kita uh, connected menggunakan wifi, so still lagi kita dalam range, local area, network. Okay, so local area network is network that connects computer and device in a limited geographical area. Such as home, school computer, laboratory, school computer lab, single office building, several building or campus. Alright, this is example of land. Right, it might be a combination of more than two building. Okay. Alright, so you can say that the simplest form of LAN is to connect two computers together. So, mana dia, kalau dah ada dua, dua komputer yang connected pun kita boleh panggil sebagai LAN. So, mana LAN mempunyai dua atau lebih komputer yang connected together. Sebab apa kita perlukan LAN semua ni? Why we need land? Sebab Untuk why kenapa, kenapa kita perlukan network? Selain daripada share information Kita boleh share Share apa? Share device Macam share storage Share printer So sebab itulah kita perlukan Network Okay, pernah tak kau pergi Savvy Cafe? Ah, Savvy Cafe kan dia kan jadi share share printer kan? Kan, mana dia you boleh, semua orang boleh uh, print directly daripada komputer masing-masing kan? So, dia menggunakan network uh, printer network. Okay, alright. Okay, a network 
LAN is a network which consists of less than 500 interconnect devices across several buildings and it's still recognized as the LAN mana dia uh, kurang daripada 500 still lagi recognized as a LAN alright advantage of using LAN easy to share device such as printer, scanner, external drive and easy to share data and the cost of the cost to set up LAN is very low okay the, but the disadvantage is area covered is limited to a few kilometers right and then speed, speed access is slow if many computer running at the same time Alright, next is a uh, man. Okay, so in general, yeah, in general we can say that man ni adalah uh, gabungan beberapa LAN. Okay, LAN kita adalah gabungan kurang daripada 500 komputer kan. LAN. Okay, so gabungan antara beberapa LAN ni kita panggil sebagai man. Okay, alright, man or we can call or uh, man is stand for metropolitan area network is high speed network that connect local area network in metropolitan such as city or town and handle a bulk of communication activities across area maknanya dia gabungan daripada land mungkin satu bandar ataupun satu negeri ok alright Okay. Advantage of man is efficiency and share data and all computer owning resident of area have equal ability to go online. Right, the disadvantage is costly. Okay, of course cost sebab sebab apa dia cost? Sebab apa dia costly? sebab perlukan hardware dan software tambahan untuk support uh, main ok alright as the network consists of many computers over city the connection become quite slow ok alright macam tadi LAN dia laju sikit dan bila masuk main dia akan jadi slow sebab connection banyak ok boleh tak? Boleh kita. Okey, lepas main apa? Ha? Lepas main, woman ah. Kan one tu kan woman. Kecuali kalau orang utara one tu lah ni pun. One tu Lelaki kan Siapa orang utara kat sini Wan lelaki ke perempuan Kan Kan So wan tu lelaki Okay So sebelah, sebelah selatan ni Wan tu adalah Perempuan kan Betul kita. tak Tak tahu Kita ada atuk, kita ada wan, betul tak? Betul kita. tak? Betul Astaghfirullah lah tu yang ni Betul tak? Kita ada mak, ada ayah, ada atuk, ada wan Wan tu nenek lah, ada orang panggil nenek Kan? Ha. Okay, so next we have when so when is definite when is actually stand for wide area network alright so in general the yeah, when adalah gabungan beberapa main okay main adalah gabungan beberapa land 
Itu je Okay so WAN adalah network Is a network that cover a large geographical area Such as city, country or the world Using a communication channel that combine many type of media Such as telephone lines, cable and radio With Okay Alright so macam uh, Negara-negara so bila kita combine negara dia jadi uh, Jadilah WAN tu Alright Okay, lepas main apa? Ha? Lepas lepas wan apa? Lepas wan apa? Ha? Yalah, lepas tu apa? Lepas tu jadilah internet. Ha. Kan ya, bila dah kalau tak ada kalau tak ada kalau tak ada uh, apa? Kalau tak ada internet macam mana nak Ni nak share information satu dunia Kan Okay Alright So the advantage Using when Is in Increase efficiency and easy Communication So the disadvantage is high security Why is high security Sebab yang connect Yang connect dengan kita punya Apa network tu Ramai so dia Dia tak berapa Secure Okay so maintenance problem Large enterprise with dedicated personnel to maintain their WAN So lagi besar network kita Lagi susah kita nak Buat maintenance That's all for today Any question? No question? Tolonglah tanya soalan Ha ha, gabungan antara WAN tu ha. Lepas WAN tu, dia jadilah internet ha. Kalau LAN je, dia tak jadi internet LAN tu adalah kita share yang sesama kita je Ha tu LAN Sebab dia kecil, limited Dan bila kita share besar sikit Gabungan antara LAN tu jadilah Ha, MAN Ha, bukan MAN, MAN Okay So gabungan antara main 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 tu Barulah jadi when Lepas tu gabung lagi when tu Barulah jadi internet 